Well, you know it's going to be a big weekend for boating and heading out to the lake ahead of the holiday week and then weekend. So Lake Waco will finally open two boat ramps come tomorrow. But you won't be alone out on the water. Today I got to do a ride along with Texas game wardens who are expecting big crowds. It's a quiet day on the Brazos. Hey. And Dan Phillips is hoping for a bite. We drove um, from the Dallas area and we are spending time at the lake today fishing. Well, he fishes, I read. <laughs> so my goal is to try to catch uh, catfish or some bass, whatever is uh, out here biting. She likes the sun and he likes the shade. They both prefer lots of room on the riverbank. We are here enjoying the peace before the crazy that may be the 4th of July weekend. <laughs> and it's something that we always do. We always like to around this time of year do something like this. Dustin Delgado has been in the field for about seven years. Definitely as a kid growing up, uh, I'm a second generation game warden. So uh, seeing my dad do this this work and you know provide uh, you know public service for folks here in McLennan County definitely pushed me, you know, drove me to to uh, you know continue that. Along with the McLennan County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit, Texas Game Warden boats will be in the water on patrol to prevent problems. We want folks to have a plan stay hydrated, but also designate a sober driver. Boating while intoxicated carries the same penalties as driving while intoxicated, and Delgado says know the rules before you head out. Life jackets are required. Uh, each person on board the vessel is required to have a wearable life jacket. Uh, children under 13 years of age are required to wear that life jacket while the vessel is underway. You know, we like to see our folks here in Waco enjoy these waterways, whether it's uh, you know boating, kayaking, fishing. We're definitely out here to keep those folks safe. So here's some great news. Tomorrow, two boat ramps will finally open on Lake Waco, the Twin Bridges boat ramp and the one at Spiegelville. However, Stillhouse Hollow Lake will not have any boat ramps open ahead or during 4th of July. But Aviana, you got to get in that water to cool off. That is right.